here's uh, the cl- the climb the pay the the post planner feed from the Facebook page climber, and you can see just like in the old app, you can check out articles. Although this this uh, page doesn't really share a whole lot of articles, but you can see the le- the articles they've shared in the last um, week. You can adjust for time frame. So again, you can you can filter by different uh, content types, and you can see you know a ton of content from a lot of different feeds and streams all at once and the, and the order of these these uh, con- pieces of content here it's ordered by star rating right so the the, the, the um, content that has performed the best is there is there to the furthest to the left and as you go to the right you'll see content that is, is you know has lower star ratings Remember our star ratings, we, we give those based upon how well the content has performed um, in, the, in the feed. So that is uh, the jump back in section. So if I go back in here to recommended, uh, I can see, you know, um, again, most recent one I used uh, and the uh, most recent fe- uh, feeds and streams that I've used. You can see those out here, and I can scroll through here and click any of them. If I say I click on this one here and head into it, I'll see all the, the Instagram photos from this guy, Jim Thornburg. And then if I go back to recommended, you'll notice that Jim is going to be at the top here in my most recent uh, spot and in position one down here and uh, jump back in. And as I, you know, as, as I surf kind of the, the content in Post Planner, these things will update and um, they will, uh, you know, just show me always the most recent stuff that I've viewed. So every time I come into Post Planner, I see all the stuff that I've been recently viewing and, and, and that's mostly going to be, you know, that's going to be the most relevant stuff for me. So uh, that's the most recent jump back in. So those are, those are the most recent stuff you've been using in Post Planner. Then down here, we have our popular and industries. So you'll recall back in the old app, if you go here, you had industries here and popular here. Again, a little bit clunky to access. You have to open this up and you know, look through these. But, for, but now, here um, you can not only access them here, you can also click see all, just like on the last one. And uh, you'll immediately see all the content from all of them, you know, all the top performing content in the last week from all these categories. So here's marketing, there's quotes, interesting. Um, Some of them I can, yeah, so I can uh, look at articles or uh, photos. So I click on articles here, I can see uh, articles instead of photos. So there they are. You can quickly find what you want. So say that you decide that, um, you know, this, this cute picture here, you want, to, you want to share that, all you have to do is click Create Post, and that will take you right into our brand new um, composer. So here in the composer, we'll, we'll, uh, let's get into that in a second. I just wanted to show you that you can always, um, if you do find a, a cool piece of content that you want to share, it's just to click into the composer, and you can, you can uh, create a post with it. I go back here to uh, recommended. Just wanted to show you industries as well. So remember, we have a, a ton of niche industries that we've created um, streams for. Streams are simply collections of feeds. So you could take, you know, fifty Facebook pages, all that all share stuff about recipes, for example, and you could put them into your own stream and and name that stream recipes. And you'll find that in my content, which I'm going to show you in a second. All these streams here are from particular industries. We've created these ourselves. We've created streams with you know, a bunch of pages, um, Twitter accounts, Instagram accounts for all these different industries. So um, again, you can click on uh, industries and recommended, see all, and then you'll uh, see all the top content across all these industries here. And again, if you want to uh, create a post, uh, you just click create post. Now to go back to recommended again, um, the bottom row. So that there's really going to be five rows here all the time, five carousels for you. The most recent, 
I'm going to go into this Instagram one, climbing Instagram. So I've taken a bunch of Instagram uh, accounts and put them into one stream. And um, I instantly see all the, the best photos from all those streams. And when I go back to recommended, you'll see that, you know, that stuff's going to be, that content's going to be up top here. And if I want to create a post, um, I just create, hit create post. The last thing I wanted to show you on this uh, front screen is the uh, bottom row, which is my content. My content is where you organize your own streams. And many of you have already done that. You've created streams with lots of, lots of feeds inside so you can instantly access content from multiple pages all at once. They'll all be down here. And if you want to see them all at once, you can click see all, and you'll go over what's, what's what we call the my content section. And this is where you can manage um, your streams. So these are all the streams that I've created. Um, I've created one about, you know, I, I kind of go into that this in the article. Uh, so you should go, go ahead and read that, uh, that blog post that I shared earlier. But, um, I, you know, I separated into a bunch of categories. Uh, Climbing magazines. These are a bunch of Facebook pages that are about climbing mat that are climbing magazines. Uh, the actual professional climbers. I created um, a, a, a stream with all of them. I created a stream with all the best climbing Instagram accounts down here. And this is where it's in my content where I can manage this. Um, for example, if I want to, let's say I want to um, move one of these feeds into another feed, then I would just click up here on Manage Streams. And there I can see all my feeds right here. And let's say if I wanted to, this mindful climbing, if I wanted to move that into another um, feed and I would just click here and then I can, you know, come along here and I can click uh, this check mark on any of these uh, streams and that will send that, this particular feed, uh, mindful climbing, into that other stream. So it, its content will be, you know, there as well. I'm not going to go do that for, for now because I, I like it where it is. Um, but this is the, the new My Context, My Content section, okay? And again, uh, the cool thing about this is you don't have to, in the old app, you had to navigate to each one of your, your, your streams to see what's the, what the latest content coming through and the, and, the, and, the, and the best content coming through in the last week was. But here, all you have to do is click My Content, and you'll instantly see all of your your uh, streams um, and you can scroll down and you know if you see something you like you can always click create post and uh, yeah we think it's a, a lot more a lot easier and a, a lot more instant for you so that is the uh, the my content section you'll see again we're, we're, we're using this um, Netflix style of carousels everywhere because we think that's the easiest way for you to get to your content super quickly. Um, again, if I want to dive in, uh, dive in deeper and drill down, I can click see all on this, and then I'll see all of the uh, content here. I can uh, check out for, uh, articles. So this uh, looks like um, a little bug here. We're not seeing the articles, but it, would, it should show you the articles <clears throat> and all the top uh, photos as well. And we have a surprise that I'm going to mention at the end of the uh, webinar here about a new content type that we're going to be launching. It's pretty awesome. Um, and if I go back to my content, uh, I just wanted to show you the, the composer, especially with Instagram content, because we have a pretty sweet new uh, feature, which I wanted to show off. So if I go down here to Instagram, so I can just click here. Right. I can see, just go to my climbing Instagram fol folder. You can see that I have all these uh, um, Instagram users, these Instagram feeds inside this stream. I've saved them to this stream. Uh, so, for example, if I want to see, there's one that has a lot of content. I, and I can scroll right and left. There's Jim again. So, actually, I'll, I'll try this. Uh, yeah, I'll try Jim. You know, so if I want to see him uh, specifically, I can click on him right there. I'm going to go back to um, climbing Instagram. And let's say this, this looks like a pretty awesome photo. I want to share that. So I click share. And it sends it into the composer here. And the really awesome thing is that, you know, the best thing to do 
when you're sharing uh, content from Instagram is you, 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 you want to credit the, the account where the um, photo came from, obviously, you know, it's a, it's a best practice. You want to always give photo credits when you ever you're posting photos. So I can decide here if I want to reshare the original um, Instagram photo um, that will, that will post that basically like a link on Facebook. If I share it to Facebook, uh, the picture will, you probably, you guys have probably seen these, but it, the, um, picture will be a link. If you click on the picture, it will take you over to Instagram or you can put unclick that and you can post it as a photo. But if you do that, you, you really need to give credit where credit is due. So what we do is, uh, we, we, we make it easy for you. We, we, uh, we put the credit of where the photo came from plus a link to the photo. So, um, you can just click on that and you have to paste it in, um, because of, uh, Facebook rules, they don't allow us to, um, automatically put stuff into the caption of, of any post. You have to do that yourself, but you know, it's easy enough. I just got to come down here, click this and then, uh, command V paste. And there it is. And I can write, um, whatever, you know, And you know the best practice that we're seeing is that uh, to give credits is to put this little uh, photo, this little camera icon, and then the the, um, the handle of where the the uh, photo comes from, and then a link to the to the photo itself, so people can go over there and check it out. So this is our uh, awesome new composer. Uh, you can also um, you know access all your profiles here if you decide that I don't want to I don't want to post it to. Uh, to this particular Facebook page, I can also choose, you know, for example, a Twitter account, um, and I can save lists over here. So here I've got all the, the two post planner accounts um, that I can, you know, quickly choose if I want them to be there. I can uh, unselect these ones and then click save, and then that will be going. You know, this post will be going to these two places. And you know, we still have our tabs where you have you can. Uh, compose a different post for, um, you know, an optimized post for each social network. The last thing I wanted to show you is search. So you might be asking, okay, fine, Josh, this looks all, all looks pretty cool, but how do I actually find, you know, find new feeds um, and new streams of feeds if I, if I want to find new stuff, if I, if I don't have anything saved? Well, that's where, you, where you'll use our search feature. And that's, and, and uh, again, it looks very similar to the old UI, again, carousels. So if you start typing in, if you do, uh, were to uh, type in a, uh, a keyword, you'll see all of the Facebook feeds um, that, that, you know, that, that have that keyword, uh, all the Twitter uh, accounts, and all the Instagram accounts, and eventually um, all the streams that users have created, the users like yourselves has created, um, so that you can save those to your own My Content section. So it's a super easy way to find the best feeds and uh, save them into your own streams or find the best streams and just save them and use those. So that is our search. And the last thing, I, and I think this is, I don't know, maybe the, one of the most exciting things of all is, and I'm switching over to a different uh, development app just to show you this because all this is still being built. Uh, we still got a, a couple more weeks before we launch this. So we're kind of, Iron and iron, ironing out the bugs. But as you can see here, you don't just have access to photos and articles, you have access to videos as well. So all Facebook pages, when we launch this, you'll be able to not only find the, the top performing photos and articles, but also the top performing videos. And you can see these aren't, these aren't quite rated right now. We don't have star ratings working yet, but we will. We'll apply our same algorithms, our same scoring algorithms to the videos that we, you know, that we do on the other content. So you'll instantly be able to find the very top performing videos from any page, from any Facebook page. And I can tell you uh, right now that, you know, that, that is probably the easiest way to blow, to, you know, to blow up your engagement overnight. If you just find top uh, videos from pages um, that are relevant to your industry and make sure those videos are relevant to your audience. And you just reshare those, those, those videos. Um, um, let's say I want to share this Santa Claus one. I would just click that into the, the composer and um, you can see my reshare original post here is on. And so when this publishes, it would just be a reshare re of the original video that's on this climbing porn page, right? 
And um, yeah, the, the, the great thing about top performing videos is, you know, they're top performing because people have already engaged with them. And because of that, Facebook has already kind of given them a boost. Um, so if you kind of piggyback on their success and, and, and reshare them, you're going to, um, you know, really, really uh, have a better chance at, you know, uh, getting a lot more engagement. So that is the, the, the Facebook videos feature, which, which I'm super excited about. I know I'm going to be using it a ton on my test pages and my, my real pages. So that's, that is, you know, our, our, our new app. This is our new find uh, section of our app. Now, unfortunately we haven't built the plan and the post section yet. So when you're getting, when you're using this new app, you're going to be using the new user interface for, for finding content. And then you can just open a, a second tab and here's where you'll, you'll, you know, you, you guys are used to using the plan and the post section where you have your, 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 your uh, scheduled posts, your queued posts. So you'll just create, you'll create posts from here, um, find content, create posts, click, uh, you know, add to plan. And then um, you will be able to go to the old app and see, see all your posts, move them around, uh, edit them, delete them, that kind of stuff here in, in post and plan. So there you go. Um, that is the new app. 